What's up guys, Dart Fishing back at you with a quick video with five tips on how you can help improve your casting distance. So the first three are tips you can do before you even get to the water to hone in your gear and make sure it optimizes your casting potential. So first things first, you wanna make sure you have the right rod. So for me out in the surf, I like a nine to 10 foot rod. And if you look at the specs here, see if we can get it to focus. It'll tell you exactly which weight will be ideal for throwing with this rod. So if you have a lure that's a three quarter ounce lure like I have right here, make sure you get a rod that's equipped to throw a lure of that weight. And it'll say right there, it says lure weight one quarter to one ounce. So you know this one, this rod is ideal for throwing a lure of that weight. Second thing, and I've said this before in many of my videos, if you want to go for distance, always use braid. In general, the higher strain counts are better for casting distance because they're more circular, they'll slide through the guides a lot better, they won't drag as much. So like an eight or a nine strand braid, I'll leave mine linked in the description below if you want to check this out, this is 30 pound Runkle braid. If you want to go for distance, braid is 100% the way to go. So check that one out. And then the last thing is you want to make sure your line is spooled correctly. So if you look at my right reel here, this line is pretty much spooled all the way to full capacity, and that's ideal. The more line you have on your reel, the closer you are to full, the less drag you'll get from this lip as the line flies off when you're casting, and the farther you'll be able to cast. You don't want to overload it to where the line's going over the lip here, because then you'll get wind knots and tangles and a bunch of other stuff but as full as you can get it without going over. If you look at the lip here, I'd say the line's maybe about a sixteenth of an inch inside that lip, so I think somewhere in that range would be ideal to get casting distance without too many wind knots and tangles and all that stuff. Okay, and then number four, and which one's probably the most important, is technique. So let me show you my technique for getting this thing as far out there as I can. So first things first, we wanna set up our lure to where it's a good distance away from the tip of our rod. So if we're using a Carolina rig or a fish finder rig, something else where the weight is up, that's what we want to make sure. Where the heaviest part of your line, that's what you want to focus on. So in this case, it's the lure. We're using a Carolina rig and a Viva sinker that's higher up above the, above the hook. But um, that's what we want to focus on. So length away from the tip. And different weights of baits and different styles of setups are going to be different. So in this case, we're kind of restricted to the swivel up the line to connect grade from the mono leader. So we can't go any farther than that, which is about probably three or four feet. Um, but if we had a Carolina rig or something like that, we'd be able to reel up as far as the closest to one to the weight. But you don't want to go all the way up to the tip. I'd say somewhere in like the one foot range, somewhere around one foot would be ideal. But just play around with it and you can see which one works better for you. Okay, once we have that, we're gonna go super basic here. So grab the line with your forefinger here on your dominant hand, for me it's my right hand, then flip the bail so that the line is loose. If you were to let, let your finger go, the line would just fly out, but you're holding here with your finger. And then you're gonna bring the rod back so you can see it here, so that your rod is about parallel to the ground, and then you're on your not dominant hand, for me, my left hand, you want to bring it at the bottom, the butt of your rod. So every rod's going to be different depending on how long the cork of the rod is, but this one's about a foot, foot and a half. And then you have your rod about parallel with the ground. And then you're just going to give it a little bounce. All right, I'm going to try to do this in slow motion. This might not work, but we'll try it. So you're going to give a little bit of a bounce so that you get a little bend in your rod. And then all at once, you want to go up like this, let go right at the top, and then boom. Point your rod right at where you're casting, and that'll give you the least amount of drag. So let's try that again in real time. So, once again, finger on the line, flip the bail, two hands on the rod, less dominant hand on the bottom, more dominant hand at the top. Rod about parallel to the ground, and then give it a good swing. Just like that. And I know what you're thinking, you probably want to cast it towards the water. And yes, that's true, but I just need to give you a profile view just for the purposes of this video. 
All right, we'll do it one more time for the super slow-mo after effect. All right, so those are your four tips with the fourth one probably being the most important. And then the fifth and final one, which is just like any other sport, you just gotta go out and practice. You're not gonna get better watching a video on YouTube. So get out there, throw your line in. Even if you're not catching any fish, go out there and practice your casting. Just might help you when the fish do come around. Truth be told, I came out here to film a fishing video out here in the surf, but literally didn't even get a bite for four hours of fishing. So what I'm gonna try to do, I wanna keep pumping out content for you guys. What I'm gonna try to do is do more how-to or tips and tricks videos like this when I don't catch anything. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this video and if you have any uh, suggestions for future how-tos, tips and tricks, whatever, videos like this. Hopefully I don't have to do videos like this because I prefer to catch fish and show them to you guys, but fishing's fishing, so you know it's gonna happen. So anyways, leave your comments below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. They probably got, I don't know, 50 yards on that cast, which is pretty good for a lure that's under an ounce.